Hey guys and welcome to a new video. Today I want to show you the five emblem encounter on the domain of timeless conflict. God, there is so many words always. You have like faction stones, emblems, timeless emblems in the domain of timeless conflict and complete timeless conflict achievements, challenge, like, you know, the, the, new, the new stones that you get once you have gathered a hundred splinters, right? You can enter four of those over here and once you've done the encounter with all four stones, like four different stones, obviously, uh, you unlock, you, uh, God, my English, you unlock the fifth map device. This is essentially, or at least uh, pretty cool. If you're running like any kind of map, you can now enter uh, like four fragments here, right? So you're gonna enter the map and a couple of fragments over here, wait, like this. So um, you get like five quantity for each uh, of entering those. So you can have one more than actually uh, possible in the past. So this is actually pretty cool. So um, this time um, we do at least like we ran this twice today on stream. Uh, so two times a five modifier. The first one I got invited from a couple of friends uh, that are running these timeless conflicts like all day long. They have an aura bot, a curse bot. And a magic finding cycloner and they invited me to have some nice content to show for you guys and after that I actually decided Thank you for to following. do it uh, myself alone in the solo game to see how uh, this actually looks like right so I have like as I said two videos following but first I mean in the timeline right there is first the, um, the magic finding group that we ran uh, today first and then I did it solo but this time I'm showing the solo first just to see or at least to show you guys how it actually looks like if you're doing it solo with all the loot I get and then as a comparison in a four-man group with a magic finder about the loot and the lags especially and how this one looks like okay so I just want to mention that and before we start the clips I want to have or at least I have a shout out to do from my top tier patron Anders and he wanted me to give a shout out to Johan. And he says, stop being a cheap ass and support the greatest streamer and gambler in Path of Exile. So, Anders, here is your shout out. Thank you very much for all your support. Okay, I think let's get right into the clips. Um, if you're wondering what I'm playing at the moment, um, this is a prototype, okay? This is not a filed out build. As I explained in previous videos, especially in the first one uh, that I uploaded before going... Uh, leak start right where i said like in the start i want to do a two-handed rt cyclone beat uh, which i uploaded yesterday um with the uber elder a kill and so on and then i said once i gathered some currency i want to try out a dual wielding crit multi impale cycloner and this is this thing right now okay so it has some really decent dps like 270k almost in hideout without impale without anything I don't want to spoil her too much about this one because it's still building up. I'm not sure what uh, stuff I will take here. So, yeah, this is it uh, at the moment. So just if you're wondering uh, what this is built about. And the reason for that, as I said before, low currency, two-hand, RT, bleed, super good. Not a lot to worry about. If you have currency, you can play around with crit and uh, hit chance and so on because these are just more stats you need on your items, right? So... As I said, this is just a prototype. This is what I'm playing at the moment. This build is insane, but it's way, way more expensive. Just the cost, the cost of these two weapons here, um, they are more expensive than the whole bleed at Series Disfavor Cyclone, right? So I just show one weapon for now. It's a multi-modded uh, Dictator's weapon. And yeah, one of these weapons, if you want to do it like that, it's like 15 exalts. I'm having two of those, so... That's like 30 exalts, just a weapon. So that's more currency stick in two weapons than I had in my whole Aetherius Disfavor Chaos Heart Bleed Cyclone. Okay, so just to mention that. Let's watch the clip. This is basically a 100 Chaos Gamble, what we are doing now. Completely blind. Let's do this as a solo player. I have no idea if you actually have to do something with this. Let's do red in the middle because it looks cool. Absolutely no idea what's going to happen. Just gonna kill something. What do I need to do? Start. 
The green icon. How do we start the thing? Hello, sir? Oh, he's stand here. Okay. So we have five minutes of just killing everything. Okay, the bosses do have a lot of life. Holy shit. Ah, oh, this is where I actually want to have calling strike, to be honest. Ah, oh, holy shit, why am I so slow? Dude, I'm just going to kill some random mobs here. Okay, that was the first one. We're we just gonna run circles now, but it's five stones, right? So isn't there like five factions or something? Mobs here. You can't hide from me. God damn it, these bo oh holy shit. Uh, can you stay out of your circle, please? Okay, sack boss down. Great. Is it actually worth to kill the bosses, or is it only worth to just cycling around and Probably you have to kill the bosses to reset those, right? What is this? Oh, snakes? I hate snakes. Okay, boss number three. Well, as long as we're cycloning... Oh, this beam is bad. Hey, why is my mana regen? Hello? But this is boss number four we said, right? Got our blood rage up. Although, like, Uber Elder and everything is a complete joke, those bosses have some serious life, dude. So boss number five. Ouch. Hey, I would definitely like to have a lot more packs around. So we can keep up flask charges and everything. So. And now? That was like five bosses now, right? There is something green. Ah, the green markers should show the bosses, right? Thank you for following. There should be a lot more packs around. It sucks that I actually never really have uh, flask charges or anything. I think that was boss number six. And now? Going in here? Oh, so you can completely reset the zone, basically. Okay. Like, for this situation, it's definitely worth taking... Um, how's it called? The, the melee char uh, flask. The one that gives you... Um, Lion's Roar. A lot more physical damage, and I don't think that the knockback counts in here. On these bosses. Got some more charges up here. That was boss number six or seven. So these these bosses do actually have a shitload of life, to be honest. At the moment, I have like a tooltip of five hundred thousand without flasks. 
thought it was like number eight. God, I wish there would be more. Uh, I think in the the last couple of seconds, we're just gonna recycle it around and clear the rest of the mobs. Because I don't think in that 20 seconds we're gonna kill another boss. But still, as long as we stay deathless, we have like one row of buffs here, or at least like loot. So, that's it. A carcass check? Okay. What else? Celestial, whatever, incubator, metallic, blast, and other scoring. Uh, scouring. That's it? That's it? And 100 chaos for that shit? Is there anything else good? Item level those. 86, that's not even bad. But hey, Deathless, 4k life is enough to clear all content. So is there anything else in here? Anything? That's it! Wow. What a boring shit. So, how much is a carcass, actually? Uh, have an exalt. Okay. Hey. How good is my RNG today? How good is my RNG today? Hmm. Halfway. Halfway good, I would say. <laughs> so, what do we get here? Um, around us, then we have shape or a trinket item. Okay, wow, 21,000. Uh, a helmet with enchant and bestiary scarab and an agnara. There's like four chaos or so, maybe two. Not sure. Two chaos, okay. Well, was this worth it? I mean. I guess. Pretty even, I would say, with the carcass check drop. I mean, now 6 socket, this is probably worth a little bit more. Like zero 07 or something. Zero 08. So, I would say pretty even. Okay, I'm interested now. What is this now? This is a 5 stone hog map, I guess. Oh, nice Alras. But I'm still not... Oh, wow. 600,000? I'm just waiting. We're just running in circles and one-shot every boss. Okay. Sounds good. Oh, which... Hey. You, you gotta explain me clockwise or counterclockwise. Dude, I'm just lagging. Holy shit. I cannot hit something. I have mana cost! Hit lagging! Dude! <laughs> Make it stop! <laughs> hey, what is this shit? What is this bar here? You see that the buff bar I have on the bottom side? Holy fucking moly, dude. How much DPS am I running? Holy fuck! Like 2 million DPS? Just tooltip? My spirit is spent. My spirit is spent. Hey, defeat these challenge! I got a challenge. Fuck champ. Wow, I cannot fucking move. I cannot move! I really try to stay with the guys here, but it's like super hard. Look at the buff bar at the bottom side, dude. Time to pay for your I can't do shit! I'll just probably just die at one point and just get one-shotted because of server lag. 
Wow. Hey, look at this buff bar on the bottom side. There's going to be some loot. Oh. Wow, this is not even funny. Oh, you. Oh, yeah, you can't see those. Complete timeless conflict. Revive 10 generals in a single domain. Okay. But we're already on the second one. We're already on the second buff bar here. At least not buff bar, loot bar. Oh, the servers are cracking. You see how that builds up left? Those bosses die within a second, dude. Oh, this this guy is tanky. Yeah, we're just gonna probably all die here. Once the server, the latency catches up. Wow. I'll just kill some of those mobs here. We are now on the third loot bar. We are now on the third loot bar here. Dude, we're gonna get a disconnect just because of the, the amount of loot that will drop here. Absolutely no fucking way, dude. Another challenge complete. My spirit is wow. Generals. Problem is I can barely hit something and I if I don't hit something I don't get mana back, so I cannot cyclone, so I cannot overleach and stuff, you know? Okay, 40 more seconds. It's actually monster level 84. Holy shit, look at the experience that you get. I just leveled up. I have almost 10% now at level 94. Holy shit, that's a nice experience. God, it's so laggy, dude. 10 more seconds. You should watch this buff or loot bar that I have left and right here. You see now a little bit on the left and right side the, the loot icons. It's it's three rows at the moment. It, it starts the fourth row now. Holy fucking shit, dude. Okay, and where is all the loot now? Whoa, 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 what? Hey, I found the loot. <laughs> I found the loot. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Wow. <laughs> Where is the loot? <laughs> hey, that's 10%. Holy moly, dude. Wow. How much challenges and whatever I got Last here now. Wow. Enjoy your stay. Uncle Karma zero one. thank you very much for your T1 sub. Subscribe three months in a row. Currently on a three month streak. Thank you very much. Hey, I'm gonna sneak this Emperor. Is there anything else I can sneak? Probably not. The rest is just shit. That's amazing, dude. Holy fuck. And I unlock the... I unlock the fifth map device, right?
Yeah, I now have the fifth map device. Wow. Actually, insane. Holy shit.